some young broke dude. There's only one right answer here. Why do you think you know what I want? You don't even know me. Because you bitches are predictable and it's been proven time and time again that you make shitty life choices. You may not want to admit, but that manly man guy actually would give you a better life than the nice guy ever would. A man's value is what he can give you. If he can only give you niceness or your definition of it, then what's the point? Just get a dog if you want something to love you. R slash nice guys. God damn a woman's lack of response. I'll be damned the day I settle on some snob that hasn't the gratitude to respond. I'd rather die single with porn any day, haha. <laughs> Well, any response is welcome, even and I'm busy. People that ignore fucking irk me, fucking the cowardly flesh rots. Wow, dude, who pissed you off? To all the females with no valentines today, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, that's what the fuck you get? Go read them 352 unread messages in your inbox on V-Day with your stuck up ass. You mean to tell me all them damn selfies and ass pics with them likes and comments, but you ain't reply to not one of them? Listening to Nikki talking about looking ass n Well now today you gonna be a looking ass bitch with no date wearing makeup in the house, no company ass bitches. Hey baby. Hi. You look like a little slut. Hey beautiful. Hey. So how was my gorgeous sunflower's day? I'm not your gorgeous sunflower. Remember I have a boyfriend. But my day was alright. Wow. Rude. I try to be nice and this is the thanks I get. Bye. I'm blocking you. Okay. Well, it's sad. These two are on a nice lunch or dinner break and they haven't said a single thing. They just been on those stupid things called phones. I would never do that to my girl. Like that's just rude to the girl or guy. Talk you stupid idiots. You be mine forever. Um, preferably not. You're cute, but uh, no thanks. Damn, really just being a friend. Sorry. Never mind about the app. Trying to be nice, you Hogwarts looking motherfucker. Wrong channel. Go to Hogwarts, bitch. Girls say they're looking for a nice guys, whereas us nice guys are looking for a girl who hasn't been fingered for a kebab from a guy she met the same night. Hey, what's up? It's the dude from Hefe. No? Okay. Come over. What's up? You suck. Seriously though, happy valentines to my future wife who's probably laying in bed or getting wined and dined by some next guy thinking that he's the love of her life. Haha, <laughs> silly girl. Hey, saw your post. We can meet up at local gyms around this town. I saw that bit that you're married. I feel like women say this to deter men who want to have sex with you. Either that or it's against your religion to be with males that are not your family. I respect either tradition. I want to say I won't have sex with you then. I can tell you I haven't raped anyone yet. Not sure how I can prove this, really. If you want me to have sex with a different woman and call her my girlfriend, I'm interested. Anyways, I thought it would be nice to have a friend at the gym, but not necessarily to work out together. This isn't a concern of mine. Anyways, it's okay either way. I'm sure you've seen these before, but here's a refresher anyway. Man rules. At last a guy has taken the time to write this all down. Finally, the guy's side of the story. I must admit, it's pretty good. We always hear the rules from the female side. Now here are the rules from the male side. These are our rules. Please note, these are all numbered one on purpose. One, men are not mind readers. One, learn to work the toilet seat. You're a big girl. If it's up, put it down. We need it up. You need it down. You don't hear us complaining about you leaving it down. One, crying is blackmail. One, Ask for what you want, let us be clear on this one. Subtle hints do not work. Strong hints do not work. Obvious hints do not work. Just say it. One, yes and no are perfectly acceptable answers to almost every question. One, come to us with a problem only if you want help solving it. That's what we do. Sympathy is what your girlfriends are for. One, anything we said six months ago was inadmissible in an argument. In fact, all comments become null and void after seven days. 1. If you think you're fat, you probably are. Don't ask us. 1. If something we said can be interpreted two ways and one of the ways makes you sad or angry, we meant the other one. 1. You can either ask us to do something or tell us how you want it done, not both. If you already know best how to do it, just do it yourself. 1. Whenever possible, please say whatever you have to say during commercials. 
One, Christopher Columbus did not need directions and neither do we. One, all men see in only 16 colors, like Windows default settings. Peach, for example, is a fruit, not a color. Pumpkin is also a fruit. We have no idea what mauve is. One, if we ask what is wrong and you say nothing, we will act like nothing's wrong. We know you were lying, but it's just not worth the hassle. One, if you ask a question you don't want an answer to, expect an answer you don't want to hear. One, when we have to go somewhere, absolutely anything you wear is fine. Really. One, don't ask us what we're thinking about unless you are prepared to discuss such topics as football or motorsports. One, you have enough clothes. One, you have too many shoes. One, I am in shape. Round is a shape. One, thank you for reading this. Yes, I know I have to sleep on the couch tonight, but did you know men really don't mind that? It's like camping. Pass this to as many men as you can to give them a laugh. Pass this to as many women as you can to give them a bigger laugh because it's true. I am no longer a feminist ally. I do everything for feminists and they appreciate nothing. I'm patient. I'm kind. I'm understanding. I'm accommodating. And I do not practice toxic masculinity. Yet when a feminist is single, I get turned down and they go date a toxic male. So what is the fucking point of me being a feminist ally if they treat me like I don't matter? There's nothing in it for me. You're going to lose all your allies if you keep being hypocrites. Are you at least enjoying the snow? <laughs> I am over snow. My front yard has been covered in snow since Thanksgiving. I am kicking myself for not asking you out on a date while I was there. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I wouldn't be able to handle that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sucks to suck. Ouch. You think I suck? Why do I suck? So now you're not answering me? Wow, you're a horrible person. I hope your parachute fails when you jump in April. You're not even that hot. Do me a favor and think of me when you're 22, pregnant, and getting punched in the face by your boyfriend, cunt. What the fuck? Haha, <laughs> pretty funny. Thank you. I checked out your post. You're pretty cute. Can I PM you? I think we would get along. Slow your roll there, Sparky. What's that supposed to mean? I was just trying to be nice. Fuck you. You're probably a slut anyways. Bet you'd say yes if I was some fucking asshole like all your other boyfriends. All guys aren't like that. I would never cheat on you, and I would treat you like a princess. You make a mistake the way you think life's about your ego. We could be friends for life, but you kill every chance. You miss nothing today after you blocked me again? Why you block me? Why you kill everything for no reason? Do you always destroy everything you love? Soulless bitch. Why am I a loser if most girls think I'm not interesting or fun to date, but I'm a good person with good values and I contribute positively to society? Why is the loser who lives off of his girlfriend and can't hold a decent job and doesn't contribute to society seen by society as a winner? Oh, but someone can question my worth at a glance or due to the fact that I'm single? Society sees me as a loser despite I have a successful career, pay more than my share of taxes to keep society going, am a good reliable person, well educated, is well informed about world issues, I can dance, I can play guitar. And also, a girl decides she doesn't want to go out on a date with me at a glance because I look like someone that isn't her type. Hey, Gorg. Not interested. Fuck you, cunt. Spell right, motherfucker. Fucking attitude, bitch. Shove it up your ass, ugly slut. Fucking your home mama right now. Attitude, actually. You are a perfect mixture of sexy and cute that makes me want to hold you down and slap your ass in bed, but also kiss and cuddle the hell out of you. You really are bad at holding a conversation. Feminism is a plague to society. I'm done protecting people and being there for them. I do nothing wrong. Girls say I'm clingy, which isn't true, and then go behind my back and talk to someone else, then I get the end of the shit stick. I'm salty as fuck right now. Take it from me. You can trust no one while dating a girl. I'm done. I honestly want to get back into trucking or a new job that takes me away from the city of Lethbridge and makes me more money. I can't get a girlfriend slash wife in the city of Lethbridge and I swear the people here just want me to be alone for the rest of my life. I will tell you right now, people tell girls not to date me because I'm such a nice guy with a huge heart who is down to earth and respectful and polite and compassionate and understanding and I have a great funny personality. The people in this city just want me to be alone and they disregard my patriarchal blessing and which is very inspiring and it says that I won't be alone. You again? Get a life for fuck's sake. Trymatch.com Hey, how are you doing today? 
Hey, how are you doing today? Hey, how are you doing today? Please leave me alone. Why though? <laughs> You're annoying and I don't want to talk to you. Fuck you then, you fucking dumb slag. I will punch your breast and give you breast cancer. Your sister can suck dick with your nan. Your sex is probably shit anyway. Rot away while eating fish and chips and a cuppa. Goodbye. How curvy are you? So you decide to message me based on this? Sex on my mind. Ah, oh, well, ain't gonna happen. Sorry. Okay, fat bitch. Ha <laughs> ha Salty. Bye, fatty. Oh, poor baby. Dude, what the fuck? I'm rich. I'm six foot seven. I'm handsome. I have a perfect body. I'm intelligent. I'm a highly accomplished artist. I'm an animal lover. I went to the right college. I have the right job. I have three poverty-stricken Ecuadorian children that I give money to every month. I'm charismatic. I'm a great conversationalist. I'm the guy that every friend you have would be jealous of. But you know what? I can't compete whatsoever with that huge gaping void that has been left in your life since college ended, and for that, I apologize. Oh yeah, one more. I'm a great writer. Goodbye. Happy Valentine's, lovers! Milo, I swear to fucking God I hate you! I'm going to literally block you! This is the last goddamn straw! Don't ever fucking message me again! Oh, Thanos is naked! I said don't ever fucking message me again, Milo! Wow, you're really gonna be like that? All I wanted to do was show you a fucking meme, and you're gonna be a rude, arrogant, nasty bitch about it? I'll gladly show you the exit. You've always been like this, even when we met in middle school. A fucking pretentious, self-entitled prick. I've asked you to stop sending me these sexual memes of men's asses hundreds of times and you never do. This is sexual assault at this point. Sorry if I just wanted you to fucking notice me. You would always ghost me and talk to Chad and I had to pretend like it wasn't like a rusty knife to the heart. Go fuck yourself, bitch. I bet you'd be better off with that asshole anyway. Me and Chad have been together since freshman year, Milo. You never had a chance in the first place. Me and Chad are fucking engaged. We have an apartment together. I'm not ghosting you. I'm spending time with my fiance. Your fiance could never service you like I could. Admit it. You're just settling because you know that I'm not as hot as him. If I had his looks, you would take my virginity the instant you saw me. I knew I'd never be good enough for you. I'm sick of this neglect. See you in hell. You're fucking disgusting. All you ever have seen me as is a sex object. I'm done with you. I need the money I lended you back by tomorrow. I can't believe I put up with you for this long. Maybe because you've always acted like a sex object to everyone but me. Isn't it obvious when you used to flash your tits and ass to the hot boys but never me because you always told your friends I was creepy? I should have never asked you out all those years ago. My heart aches. You've always disgusted me. Leave me alone. No, I've had it with your shit. You don't get to boss me around anymore. You've truly awakened the beast in me and I'm not going to take any more abuse from you anymore. Fuck you.